right, welcome back, folks. You know, in, in all the holy hu <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just attacked myself. I just attacked myself and knocked my own glasses off my face. I, I think I'm bullying myself right now. Well, you know, folks. That's what you get for making jokes about the Pope, I think. <laughs> you know, folks, in all the hubbub about the Pope being in town last week, you might have missed the fact that this weekend we had a visit from another infallible leader of a billion people, Chinese President Xi Jinping. He's the Pope of toxic drywall. <laughs> On Friday, despite our trade wars, our tensions in the South China Sea, and Chinese hacking attacks, President Obama gave President Xi a full South Lawn welcome, where the Chinese president greeted every White House staffer by name and bank account. <laughs> and it was a landmark summit between our two nations, with the U.S. and China agreeing that neither country's government will conduct cyber-enabled theft of intellectual property. That is a huge step. But I will miss those Chinese bootlegs of American movies. I really enjoyed their version of Mad Max. Clear day, little traffic. <laughs> Their Marvel superhero film, Inauspicious Number of Fantastics. <laughs> and for the kids, Happy Diligent Suppositories. <laughs> but. <laughs> President Xi saved his best announcement for last. The president of China is announcing a sweeping agreement today aimed at limiting greenhouse gas emissions. Yes, China is limiting their greenhouse gas emissions, bringing them down from their current level of infinite. <laughs> of course, step one in lowering emissions is trading in their Volkswagens. Now, <laughs> full disclosure. Full disclosure, I believe in global warming and I have a beach house, so I want to say thank you, <laughs> President Xi. But I have to say, this is embarrassing for me as an American because every president since Bush won has given lip service to climate change without doing anything. And in those decades of inaction, things have only gotten worse with Arctic thawing, superstorms, and a significant reduction in the level of Hulkamania. <laughs> And yet now, China, the world leader in lead toothpaste, is trying to save the planet. Of course, Xi isn't doing it just because he's some panda hugger. He is responding to growing public anger about the noxious air that envelops Chinese cities. And these Chinese people aren't buying the excuse the government put in the state-controlled media, it was the dog. <laughs> but whatever the motive, thanks, China. And as you take a bold step toward a cleaner environment, I would like to help prepare you for a future with clear skies. First things first, this is the sun. <laughs> All right? This, this is sunscreen, okay? It protects you. It's like smog you can rub on your skin. <laughs> These are clouds. That blue stuff in between them is not a chromium spill, it's called the sky. <laughs> and sometimes birds fly in front of the sky, which can be very pretty. Oh, and by the way, this is a bird.